Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is working on a React and Rails application and keeps running into a console error that says, warning, validate DOM nesting, cannot appear as a child of the ad. Let's dive into the details and see how we can resolve this problem together. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error you're encountering indicates that the structure of your table is incorrect. In HTML, a teth element must be wrapped inside a tur element, which in turn should be inside a theod element. Let's take a look at your original code. You have the elements directly inside the add, which is causing the error. To fix this, you need to add a char element to wrap your theth elements. Now let's modify your code to include the tur element. This is how your updated code should look. Make sure to place the elements inside the tur. If you encounter another error stating that chur cannot appear as a child of table, ensure that your theod is properly structured within the table element. The theod should be a direct child of the table. Finally, remember that proper nesting is crucial in React and HTML. Always check that your elements are correctly placed to avoid these types of errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The error occurred because the user mistakenly placed T-body inside the ad. The correct structure separates them. Changing to the correct format resolved the issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This error often arises from mistakes in your HTML structure. For instance, a missing closing tag can lead to issues. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the React error about using T in Thead, simply replace T with table cell inside table row. Here's an example of how to structure your table correctly using MUI components. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have the good one. Cheers.